I want you to think of a time before you were born, before your parents were born, before your great 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 thousand great grandparents were born. I want you to think of a time 13 billion years ago. Now 13 billion is a big number. If you started counting right now to 13 billion, one, two, three, four, it would take you 416 years to count to 13 billion. If you did a shopping spree to spend 13 billion and you spent $20 per second, it would still take you over 20 years to spend 13 billion. Scientists don't even know what it was like 13 billion years ago, but they suspect that it was cold, dark, and empty. We think ice is cold, but we now know that there are temperatures much, much colder than that. We think dark is dark, but if you went inside your closet without the lights on, without anything shining out the bottom of your door, that pitch blackness would be bright compared to what it was back then. We think that it was empty and hollow until suddenly there was a great big A great explosion occurred, flinging gas in every direction, like milk spreading out. And slowly, the dust and gas that came from this explosion came together, and things were so hot, particles started to crash into each other and became globules. And these globules, because of gravity pulling it in, pulling it in, it became our first star nurseries and superstars, real superstars, not just movie theaters, but the superstars, ginormous stars, stars bigger than a hundred times our sun were huge. And they started to create the basic elements of our universe from iron, oxygen, and gold, every element you can think of either in their cores or when they explode. And stars filled the universe with light. The distance between stars can be measured in light years. If I snap my fingers, light has already wrapped around the entire planet of Earth seven times. But as the stars filled the universe, gravity pulled them together, spinning like a dancer with their skirt going faster and faster until galaxies like our own Milky Way were formed. The remains of dead stars, some of them began to surround themselves to these stars because these stars themselves began to have gravity pulling things closer together. And as these rocky dead parts of stars began to come together, they began to crash one after another crashing and crashing. Some of them formed planets. Some of them organized themselves into orbits around these stars. And some of them still made crashes. Some say that that's where our moon came from, where an object the size of Mars crashed into our planet and its remains formed our moon. Our Earth is very, very special. It's in the Goldilocks zone of not being too far from the sun because then everything would just be like ice and not too close to the sun because everything would just remain a liquid or a gas. Our earth is the third planet away from the sun. And when it was still young though, even in the Goldilocks zones, it was still extremely hot, much hotter than any summer that we've had so far. It was so hot, it was like a giant liquid ball where it was so hot that metals like gold would rain upon its surface, touch it, and go back straight into the atmosphere. Only through many, many millennia did the gas finally settle from liquids, and the liquids slowly cooled into solids, and the heavier metals 
like nickel and iron sink into the very core, the very center of our planet. And the lighter objects, the lighter particles like water, began to float to the top. While our crust was being formed like an eggshell drifting upon this hot, liquidy magma, volcanoes ravaged the surface like ugly pimples, popping from to and fro, making the surface still too hot for water to settle. Tss, the sound of a frying pan where water would touch the surface and go straight back into the air. And this process of landing and going back slowly began to cool the surface of our planet. Our planet that looked like an ugly wrinkled apple started to become filled with water, very shallow seas covering the surface of it. And water brings life. Water eventually brings us. And that is the story of how the universe was formed. Thank you.